Hey guys, welcome to part two, and today, this is what we're going to be making. So, you got a scroll view here, you got a big title up there, and you got some weekly plan down here, and you should be able to tap on these cards here. So, for example, if you tap on Monday, take me to a new screen, it just says Monday for now, but you can go ahead and do that in the next few parts. Let's get started. So if you recall in part one, in part one we completed this card here with an image and some text and some shadow. Here in part two, we can get, go ahead and get started with this code that we have written in part one. So one of the first things I want to get started with is to create that uh, this, this large title here. So there's two ways we can do it, but the way that I'm going to choose is to create a navigation view. So we're going to take the Z stack here and embed it in a navigation view. So we can go ahead and do that by clicking on Z stack, command click, and embed in V stack. All right. So in the this V stack, this outer V stack, we're going to go ahead and rename it to navigation view. So this navigation view pretty much means that we have a view with some elements inside of it or some objects inside of it. And this navigation view gives us the ability to navigate or to move to other, other views and to also return back to that view. So here with this navigation view, we can go ahead and look at the inner element, which is the Z stack. We want to give it a modifier. So the modifier that we want to give it is dot navigation bar title. See how the autocomplete comes up? Enter. And we could type our uh, title, which would be home workouts. All right. So now if you see that, we see if we look at our at our uh, preview, we see the title home workouts. There's this huge space here, but that's because we have a Z stack and this, in this inner element, which is in the navigation view, is centered in the navigation view. So I'm gonna go ahead and tab here, or you can actually highlight it and control I to correct the indentation. All right, so we have our large title and we have the card. Now let's look at the next thing we wanna implement. So the next thing that we want to implement is we want to make sure that we have a our home workouts. So we have our card up here. We have weekly plan down here and maybe a divider of some sort or some a view of some sort and the scroll will be below it. So let's go ahead and put the weekly plan and this divider here. So the way we want to do that is we want to put the Z stack, which is this card here inside a V stack because we want to stack elements to, on the vertically within the navigation view. So go ahead and command click on the Z stack. Embed in V stack, which is a, our vertical stack. So now we have a navigation view, which is our outermost element. Inside of it is a vertical stack. So whenever we stack, whenever we put any other elements inside of it, we are stacking them on top of each other or below each other. All right, so the Z stack here is our card. So let's go ahead and put our, um, let's go ahead and put that text down on the, below it so that our Z stack, so that our Z stack sits up top. So let's go ahead and enter a text. All right, and our text should be weekly plan. All right, so we have, if you can see, we have our card, our Z stack, and our weekly plan below it. So the weekly plan is a little too small, so let's make it bigger. Let's give it a font size of dot large title. Let's give it a font weight of that semi bold. And we're going to give it some padding so that there's some space between the Z stack here and the and the text below it. All right. So now we have our 
hard and the text below it. All right, let's go ahead and move everything up to the top. So the way we want to do that is we want to put an element that causes everything to be pushed up top, to take, that takes the most space. So I'm going to press enter and the next element I'm going to place in, within the V stack is a spacer. So this spacer causes everything, it takes up the most space out of all the elements, out of the remaining space. So the spacer here, if I were to click on it, is actually it takes up all this space right here in the V stack. So it causes everything above it to be pushed up vertically. So now we have our title, home workouts, our full body workout as the card, and the weekly plan. And if you recall, the navigation bar title, I placed it on the Z stack because it was the most inner, it was the element right below, right below the navigation view. So I'm going to move this navigation bar title to the outermost element within this navigation view, which is the V stack. So command C. And then let's go ahead and place it in this V stack. So I'm going to highlight it here. Yeah. All right. It should give us our, at least I would hope. Um, actually, it should be one below that. So let's command C this. All right, it should be right here. There you go. So this is our V stack here. It's our V stack within the navigation view. So we gave it a navigation bar title of home workouts. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to create a card. We want it, and we want it to be able to scroll through that. But let's go ahead and create the cards first. Then we can go and create our scrolling view. So the way that we create our card is that it would follow a very similar format to the way that we created it before. So we have our Z stack, and then within that Z stack we have an image, and then we have a V stack on top of that. So we can go ahead and do something very very similar. So let's start off with our image, embed that in a Z stack then. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this because it's going to be about the very same thing. It's going to be above the space here, image. We'll give it, we'll look at the image. So the other image that we want to use is the, let's put our assets. Or we can use the push-ups image. So push-ups, just the way that it's spelled like right there. So we can type in push-ups here. All right, and resume. All right, so now we get our push-ups image. I'm gonna embed this in a Z stack. Command embed in B stack or H stack, doesn't really matter, a Z stack. I'm gonna make this image much smaller, so maybe 150 instead. Oops, not one five. One fifty is the is the height. Or actually, let's make the height maybe about two twenty. There you go. So just a bit smaller. Okay, so we can have our Z stack and an image with the push up inside of it, and then we have our text below that as well. So that will be inside of V stack. So we can go ahead and copy this as well. And then see. V stack. So this will be. Uh, we can make this Monday, just like the image it was. We'll put this chest day. So let's make this Monday text a bit smaller. We'll give it size of dot title. Okay, so now we have our image, and we are almost getting at that card, but we have to add some clippings so that the image stays only within the size of the card. Let's also make this Z stack or this V stack here, which is grayed out a bit smaller. So let's make give it a width of 150 instead. Alright, so it's a much smaller card. But we still need this V stack and Z stack to be clipped. So we need to give the Z stack a certain size as well. So let's copy some of those modifiers from our Z stack and just change them up to be the way that they need to be. 
So let's first give it, let's copy the frame. And we're going to give this a much smaller width. So the width should be about the same as the image, 150, as the V sector there. We'll give it a height of maybe 220. All right, so now the card is much smaller. But so we have the image is smaller and so is the card. But we need it to be clipped now. So that way this image only shows up within the card itself. So that clip. So now we'll see that the image is clipped. Yep, there you go. We're going to give the card a bit of a corner radius. So we can give that corner radius of 20. And then we'll give it a bit of shadow with a radius of 8. So now our card should have a little bit of a shadow around it. Okay, so. In this lesson here, we gave it a we place everything in the navigation view, and we stacked. And within the navigation view, we have V stacks. We stacked elements on top of each other. So our Z stack at the very card at the very top, the main card view. We have a weekly pen which has a text weekly pen, and then below that we have some card, we have a card below that. Um, just for a little preview, of what's going to happen in the next part? Because we're going to end the part here. The second part here is we're gonna make this a scroll view. So I just want so we can go ahead and show you that here by embedding the Z stack in a, in a uh, H stack. Okay, so now we have our H stack where elements. So remember the H stack is comments a stack stack where the inner elements. Are arranged or stacked horizontally. So if I copy this inner card here, or to say, and get this comment of day card, so I'm going to copy this day card and just copy it and make a second copy of that. What we'll see is that we have two cards arranged horizontally next to each other. So our our scrolling view will take a uh, benefit from this and we'll kind of take an instance of this and create multiple scrolling views or create a scrolling view and be able to scroll through multiple cards that are automatically generated from the code. But we're going to end part two with this and in part three we will continue uh, with our scroll view. Okay, thanks. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and please subscribe if you guys found benefit in this video. See you guys soon.